Fallout 3 video walkthrough for nextgenwalkthroughs.com on the very, very hard difficulty. Uh, right now you'll notice right off the bat that I looked kind of confused there, and that's because I actually forgot that I had an autosave, and it cut out the portion where I saved Butch's mom for the karma. Uh, it's a real smart part, and small part, and you can just follow Butch to where she is. It's nothing too serious that I had felt that I had to go back and re-record it. Uh, these two chumps go running down there to try and escape and talk to the guards. Uh, they get killed pretty quickly. Uh, you can actually get through here without having to fight them at all, but I want their guns and their armor and their ammo, so I go ahead and take them out. Uh, you'll see I do my... to try and uh, keep them from running at me too quickly. Doesn't work out so hot, I don't think, but... Uh, and really stupidly, I also just stood there at one point to try and line up my shots and just started taking bullets. Um, I'll chalk that up to drinking. Uh, actually, on one playthrough, the, the roaches that are down the hallway to my right came in there before I even had a chance to start shooting at them and took them down to mostly dead, so... I mean, the game's real weird about how the AI acts. And, but I'll chime back in here in a little bit. Coming up the staircase, you got a lot of rad roaches that'll come down at you. I go ahead and switch to the bat so I can save my ammo. Um, a little bit less than perfect, but at least I didn't use probably like, you know, all of my ammo trying to kill just a few roaches. Uh, keep that in mind whenever you're fighting any of the rad roaches or um, the the bees or whatever they are. Just save your ammo. Uh, usually there's a guard around this corner standing in the hallway. I don't know where he is on this run. That's why you see me take the stem pack and come out real slow. Um, but there is a guard further up here that'll be uh, down around the corner over there. 
uh, just take care of him with some headshots and if you need to back around the corner like I do and then just run through there's some red roaches but don't bother trying to take them out because they're not worth the one experience point that you get off of them Alright, coming up in here you'll see uh, the conversation with Amada and her father, the Overseer. Uh, I choose just to completely ignore the situation. She comes out fine later on here in the uh, this walkthrough. Uh, but you can go in there and I think one of the options is to just shoot him in the head. Um, and one of the other options is just to talk him out of it. I don't know what actually it is. I should probably have done that just so I could talk about it and not look like an idiot. But uh... Here's the room right before his office, which you now have two options. Um, I have the lockpick ability and could pick the lock. Uh, I don't because I go back and show where there is actually a key in one of the bedrooms to unlock the door to the overseer's office. So, at least you got options. If you don't have the lock picking ability, you can just go get the key. Now, uh, once you get in there, there'll be a computer waiting for you. Uh, I actually had to edit out like three attempts. I just could not manage to get the word right on that thing but um, basically I'll go ahead and talk about how that works um, whenever you pick a word it'll give you on the right hand side uh, a fraction that will tell you you know one out of five or whatever depending on how many letters there are what that's basically telling you is that one of the letters out of the five is in the correct spot so you can then kind of weed out other words it's, it's really easy once you get two letters um, it really sucks if on your first try you get zero because that just means you have to try even harder and faster because uh, your intelligence ratio, or not intelligence ratio, your intelligence number, and I think your uh, your science ability will give you a better chance of, or certain number of chances extra to, to do it with. Uh, right there, you'll see I save. That is one thing I would definitely recommend to everybody before you lock pick anything, pickpocket someone, uh, hack into a computer. Just go ahead and save. Save it on a separate file, and then. That way, if you fail, you won't get locked out of the computer. All right, that's it for now. Alright, as this section comes to a close, uh, whenever you start the uh, vault to open, 
you'll look back and Amada's there. Uh, you can go back and have a quick conversation with her, but what really sucks is that uh, the guards bust in while you're talking to her, so on your way out the door you'll end up taking a couple of pop shots just right in the back of the head, so <coughs> I just choose to ignore it. Uh, you don't get anything out of it as far as I know. Also, right before you leave to go out into the wasteland, um, you're given the option of changing your stats so that whenever you did this portion, if you didn't like what you had, you can change your build. I go ahead and just stick with it. But Alright, I'll see you in the next video whenever I get to Megaton.